Welcome to our lecture online. As we're looking for ways to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels, we can come up with some inventions such as what we call the solar oven or perhaps the solar cooker. So how this works is we have a big metal uh, contraption that is kind of in the shape of a cone. It is silvery inside, so the sunlight that hits the inside of that cone-shaped region will be reflected towards the pot at the bottom here where the, there's a, some water in there and we're trying to boil the water in the pot. So let's assume that the radius of the inlet of that cone is about 30 centimeters. Let's say the efficiency of all the sunlight entering this, this oven is about 40% of that makes it to the water to heat it. And let's say that the intensity on a cloudless day is about 600 watts per square meter. All right, based upon that, how long will it take to take one liter of water that starts at 20 degrees Celsius and raise it to the boiling point. How long will it take to boil the water? All right, and remember that sunlight is free. You just have to make the oven. All right, let's figure that out. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to figure out the amount of energy that the water will receive. So the power received, the amount of, uh, or yeah, the power, the amount of energy received. Now the power, yeah, the power would be the energy per unit time. That's what we want. So the power is equal to E sigma uh, A T to the fourth power. And notice that we can rewrite this, that this is equal to uh, area times E sigma t to the fourth power. And notice that this portion of that equation is equal to the intensity. That's equal to area times the intensity. All right, so we can use that equation because we don't know these particular parameters, but we do know this. And so we know the intensity of the sunlight when it reaches the oven. We know the area because we know the radius of the opening. And then realize that the efficiency is 40%. We have to, of course, then the power received by the water is going to be equal to the efficiency multiplied times the area multiplied times the intensity. So that's the amount the amount of energy per unit time that we're receiving from the sun using that particular type of oven. So this is equal to 40%, which is 0 0.4, times the area, which would be pi, times the radius squared, which is 0 0.3 meters, and we have to square that, and then the intensity is equal to 600 watts per square meter. Notice the square meters cancel out, and we're left with watts. So that would be 0.4 times pi times 0.3 squared and times 600 equals, that would be equal to 67.8686 watts. Now let's convert it to calories because when we want to convert that to how much, how long it will take to heat the water, that might help. So the, the relationship is that we have one calorie to be equal to 4.186 joules. And remember that watts is joules per second, so this gives us calories per second. So divide by 4.186, and we get 16.21, 16.21 calories per second. So we can use either one, 67 0.86 watts or 61.21 calories per second that we get from the sun and that's input into the water. Now we need the time that it takes to boil the water from a starting point of 20 degrees Celsius. So there we need to use the equation dq is equal to mc delta t. This equation can be easily remembered by saying dq equals m cat if this you think of that delta there is an a. And then what we can do is we can take the left side of the equation and divide it by dt, which then makes that equal to the power. So the power input is equal to dq dt, which is equal to mc delta t divided by delta small t. This is, of course, temperature, and that's time. So when we divide both sides of the equation by delta t or dt, then we can set the power, which we have right here, equal to some things in terms of how much the temperature changes 
with respect to time. And then we can solve that equation for delta t. So we say delta t is equal to mc delta big T, that's the change in temperature, divided by the power. And now we're ready to solve the equation and to solve for the time it takes to boil that water. One liter of water. Okay, so this is equal to one liter of water has a mass of a thousand grams. That's one kilogram. So 1,000 grams is the mass of one liter of water times C, which is one calorie per gram per centigrade degree. The delta T, well, we go from 20 to 100. That's 80 uh, centigrade degrees. And then we divide the whole thing by the power input, which is 16.21 calories per second. Notice that the calories cancel out, the grams cancel out, the centigrade degrees cancel out. Now we're ready to solve this in terms of seconds. So the delta T, the amount of time that it takes in seconds, is going to be equal to, let's take the inverse of that, times 1,000, times 80, and that gives us 4,000 935 seconds. Oh, let's let's convert that to hours. So let's see here. That is uh, one hour is 3,600 seconds. So the delta T is equal to divide that by 3,600, and we get times 3,600 four nine three five. So divide by 3600 equals yes. 1.37 hours and 0.37 hours let's take 0.37 divided by 60 uh, let's mm, no multiply so 60 times 0.37 is 22 so that's about equal to one hour and 22 minutes so there you are in about one hour and 22 minutes your one liter of water will be boiling that's of course kind of a long time but the energy is free. So is that a good system? Well, if you have nothing else, it will work, but you will have to stand around for a long time before you can make some tea from that boiling water. And that is how it's done. How can you compare it with the gas? Oh, that's the next video. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That comes on the next video. All right.